up here at the draft. I do believe we have two first round picks to you. I don't think we have a second round pick or a third round pick even for that matter. I think we just upgraded to get the two first round picks. We got Winnipeg and then Florida, Minnesota, and us, Vancouver. It looks like Minnesota actually got shafted too. I think they were the team below us. So Florida and Winnipeg, two teams that had over 10 more points than us and Minnesota, actually jump ahead of us. God dang, I can't believe it. I do believe we have another first round pick though. We do at number 22. 22 is not bad. I do think it's a weaker draft than normal though. I keep getting told that. I don't know how, I don't know if it's the truth though. Let's go to scouted players. I think that will stop the clock, does it not? Yes, it does, I believe. Okay, good. So we got Smith looks to be going first overall. We don't need a defender. Right now, we got six defensemen. I'm solid with going into the future. We don't have that bona fide top two, though, but we definitely have the depth. And if the top two ends up coming out round our way, so be it. But I'm not going to trade up to get one. We got Dalendra, Valeno, Roberts, and Coxhead. And then Merkley. Oh, that's okay. Merkley's top 10. So we got five top five. We got five top 10. And a plethora of first round picks, so it looks like the uh, it may not be as weak of the draft as I thought, maybe. Uh, actually, no, it probably is. It probably is. Look at that. Two top 10 guys, one being top 5, both only have top 9 potential. That's crazy. Top 9 potential? What? And then another top 9 potential, a bottom 6 forward. Holy crap, maybe... Maybe that number one overall pick really is as good as everyone said. I mean, I'm not going to trade up for it. I think I'm just going to see how I land right now. No, don't do that. Let's just go pick by pick, I guess. Oh, what the fuck? Where am I? Oh, it put me back to my 22 pick. Let's go up to the beginning. Let's take a look at who Winnipeg is going to pick. So they pick Robert. A top fit. Oh, my. What? The number one overall is a top six high. A great player, no doubt about it, but for number one overall, ah, yikes. Okay, let's take a look at who Florida picked. They picked Smith, a top four high potential. Oh my god, maybe we should have, maybe we shouldn't have tried to tank. Holy shit, well, who does Minnesota take now? Valeno, a medium elite. I wonder why he wasn't take, I get, you know what, um, it could make sense. Maybe they would rather have the high potential than the medium, but an elite player usually, usually doesn't become a bust. Okay, Vancouver's time to make a draft pick. I have no idea who I want to go with. I mean, Coxhead is guaranteed to be top nine, but I really don't like power forwards. Two-way forwards can definitely come in handy. They're really good. Usually they have really good stats. Sometimes a few of them stick out, which is nice. I, I'm, th I'm leaning towards De Delandria, but it's bottom six forward high. He might jump up to top nine. Ugh. I mean, I guess that's the type of draft I'm in, though. I can't really expect to get a medium elite. After those guys, it drops down to top ten. We got three defenders. I don't need a defenseman. Another top nine, a goalie. I'm really stuck with them, unless I trade the draft pick away, but there's no one, there's no one I want to trade down for. I guess I'm going with Delandria. I think that's how you pronounce his name. How old is he, by the way? Let me check that out. 17, I'm happy with that. Okay, I guess we're going with Delandria. There's really nobody else I would want to take. What do we got? We got a top nine high potential. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. I'm going to go pick by pick. That's This is weird how there's not really any elites. Okay, another high potential starting goaltender. Holy crap. Top nine power forward, though, Coxhead. He, okay, everybody's high potential. One, two, three, four, five out of the first six players are high potential. Oh, my God. Let's go another pick here. A top six again. Oh, okay, who do we have scouted here? Everybody is high potential. Everybody is. What do we got? We got Kemp. Oh, should I go after a playmaker? 
I've been talking about it. I've been talking about how I want a top nine pat playmaker. Oh, I'll go back to my uh, Montreal videos. I mentioned it in a few of them. How I'd really like a top nine playmaker. Oh, that I really want to help that experiment and have that experiment. But it's only is he going to be high potential? I mean, everybody is so far. That's one, two, three, four, five, six out of the starting seven. Let's trade for Ottawa's pick. They got a decent team, don't they? They should be a contender. They're a rebuilding team? What? They're a rebuilding team. Do they want to give the pick away? They don't. That's going to be rough. Okay. I might not get who I want. Let's go to Boston. What about Boston? They don't want to give their pick up as well. Okay, maybe we're not going to get them. What about Edmonton? If they don't, if we can't get... Edmonton does want to give it up. I'll try and get Edmonton if we can't get Ottawa. Kemp is... He's a few away, but... I mean, in this type of draft, anybody can be taken anywhere. It's not like they have elites. Everybody's high potential. So, obviously, we would trade our first round pick. Since they're rebuilding, they should want it at the end of the day. Even if they don't want to trade for it, they should still want it. And they do. It's a Buffalo pick. We don't have a second or a third round pick to give up. Oh, no, I didn't mean to press propose trade. Obviously, that's not going to go through. Do they want any goaltenders on our team? They want Kemper? We only have him for one year, though. Obviously, they, they're not going to take him. What about skaters? Do they want anybody? Oh, I'm not giving you any of those guys. Stetcher. I could give you one of these guys, a top six player. I could definitely give you that. Now, I know they're top six. You could argue that's better than top nine high, but they're already 19 years old, and they're not even 70 overall. I mean, they're almost 20, my bad. And I have two of them. I will give the worst one. I'll give Saffin. He's a little bit he's a little bit under the other guy. What if I give you both of these guys? So Saffin and the 22 pick to go up to pick number 8, I do believe. Will that go through? Trade rejected. Yeah, they don't want to give it up. That's going to be a rough pick to get. I don't want to give up both of them. And I, I don't know exactly if he's going to be high potential at the end of the day, too. I could give up a top, I could give up a bottom six player as well. I'm not going to do much more than this though. Trade rejected. You know what? I'll do one last thing, a little bit extra. Instead of the bottom six, I'll give you the top two potential for the AHL. He's got a bit. He's got a lot better trade value, about double. I guess I'll offer them this. Still not okay. Yeah, okay. I guess I'm not going to give up everything on my team. I don't know exactly if he's going to be high potential yet. Um, so we got Cantor. Cantor, that's an odd name. Okay. Uh, he's top six medium, though. He's not yet... Uh, he's not high. If he was high... There we go. Kemp. Yeah. Uh, that's too bad. He ends up being top nine. Damn. I wish I would have got him. I wish I would have got him, but... I mean, the Boston pick is pretty much like the Ottawa pick. It's only one position down. They're not They're not going to trade it away. We don't need a defenseman right now, although it would be high potential. And you know what? It wouldn't hurt to trade up. At, we I already checked it out quickly. Edmonton does want to give up the pick. Okay, let's go back to Edmonton for a second. Let's go to Edmonton's pick here. Maybe we can snatch up a good defenseman. Uh, let's go to the draft pick. So they do want to give it up. They want to give up all of the draft picks. They're a hopeful team at the end of the day. Makes sense. Obviously, we'd have to give up our pick, even if they don't want it. We'd still have to give it up because it has a lot of trade value. Do they want the same guy that Ottawa wanted, I wonder? Uh, maybe not. They actually do. Okay, they do. They want Saffin. I'll give them Saffin. And then we can go after one of those defensemen because at this rate, pick number 22 is going to be basically nothing. I may as well try and trade up to get one of those defensemen. Trade accepted. Okay. I was gonna. I was actually thinking about maybe having to put more, but we got Edmonton's pick at number 10. We have number four, which we got a top nine high potential player. 
And then we got pick number 10, hopefully a high potential defender. Now, there's one defender left, unknown though. AHL bottom six, two two-way and a defensive defenseman. Let's, let's check out the age. We got a 18-year-old, we got a 20-year-old, and we got an 18-year-old. I mean, I guess Robertson is the safe pick to go with. There's also McLeod down here, another, but no, I don't want another two-way forward. That's basically a mirror image of the pick we already had. I may as well take a chance, and I mean, first round to top 10, there has to be a difference there, right? There gotta be a difference. I'm not gonna pick Yaskin, he's 20 years old, a little bit too old for my liking. And then we got Sutter and Robertson, they're both the same age. I basic I don't have him scouted at all. Sutter basically I mean barely scouted. He's a little bit more scouted. And it still only has Oh wait, he's not even a defender! I'm tripping balls that way. I th what are I looking at? I thought he was a defender as well. Okay, I'm going with Robertson. That's a fairly easy pick for me to make. Is it gonna work out for us though? There we go! Another top six high potential. I was hoping top four. But you know what? It is what it is. We got a good pick out of it. So, a top six player in the two-way forward. Top four defenseman in Yaskin. He's also older. I'm happy with the pick we made for sure. Now it's looking like the draft is getting quite weak. There's no more high potential. We might have got the last one, actually. Did we? Yeah, we might have got the last one. Let's simulate all the way to you the pick. I believe we don't have one till what, the fourth round it was? So it might take a minute to get simulation done here. We got good picks though. Robertson, I don't know how he's going to fit into the future of the team. I guess if Trampkin or Stetcher jump up to a top four defenseman, it's not the end of the world. But in order for me to be happy with that, they'd need to jump up to like 86. So all the way at the fourth round, oh my god, 28th pick in the draft too. Holy shit, okay, let's go through round number one. Any late steals at all? I'm doubting it. I only, okay, they did a fringe starting high potential. And then an elite goaltender, actually. McLeod, Josephson, a top six grinder, damn. Missed out on him, that's okay. A couple other grinders, a playmaker. Yeah, no, an a AHL people in round number one, all in round number two, damn. I don't think... I don't think we're going to get anyone good. There's actually quite a few bottom six players who have been taken so far. I might get lucky and snatch up one of them. I don't think I need a goaltender. Demko's looking like he's pretty good. I guess pick one of these defenders, I guess. I mean, we got a 20-year-old, another 20-year-old. What about a two-way forward? 19, do we have an 18? 18, a 19. I'll pick the 18-year-old American. Why not? What do we got with him? We got a AHL top six potential, damn. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's going to be anything good. I'm just going to go sim entire draft, and then I'll take a look at who we got in the first round. We were at free agency, well not free agency, the re-sign stage, and we only have six players who I have to re-sign it said. I think that's wrong, that might have meant um, unrestricted free agents. But let's take a look at the people we got drafted. So we got a, let's go to the system and let's go to forwards first of all. Top nine, high potential, we got 17, he's only 55 overall. Damn, that is terrible. That's as low as you can go. Wow. I'm not happy about that. What about the defender? Please be good. 1850 as well? What the fuck is going on? You know what? Let's take, I want to take a look at Ottawa. Who did... Was it them who got Kemp? I believe it was them. Did they not get Kemp? Maybe it wasn't. Oh, it wasn't them. Who was it? Uh, was it Philly? 
Was it top nine? Goddamn, I forget who got Kemp now. Um, goddamn, I forget. If you remember, let me know. I'd like to check out that playmaker because if he's already like around 60, 70 overall, maybe I should trade for him. I don't know, but let's go to goaltenders. Do we have to sign anybody? Kemper, I could sign him as a backup. I'm going to release him for now, though, just to see if we can get a better one in free agency. I am going to sign Johnson, whoever this guy is, for another deal. And then we got Grubauer and Johansson in the AHL for next season. And then we're going to have Demko and then Blank. So, I'm, do you think I should just get a backup goalie? Or do, I, do you think I should go and get a legitimate starting goaltender? I'm not too sure. I'll leave that up to you guys. Defensemen, do we have to sign anybody? Okay, there are a few guys. Any of our big names? A few of them. So, Tanev, Gabrunson, Hudden the 85. Perfect. Perfect. So, he did jump up a little bit. I like to see that. Hopefully, in the offseason, he can jump up even more. I like that. Now, he's actually a top four defender. Perfect. 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 We do have to sign Stretcher. Be the... We got a lot of depth. Look at that depth, though. Holy crap. Let's go to forwards. Anybody else jump up? Nick Shaw's an 87. He's still a third liner, though. Horvat is still only an 84. Damn it. Damn it. It looks like that's going to be where he, he caps off. Berchi, Nylander. So not a lot of growth yet. Patrick's an 81, though. That is perfect to see. Holy crap. I'm going to get everybody signed, and I will come back. Hopefully, everybody re-signs. I think everybody should, no problem. Stetcher might not. He might not. I offered him a little bit less. Okay, yeah. Gordon, besides him, everybody should. He wanted a one-way deal. I changed it to a two-way deal. Nylander did. Biega did. Sedin rejected. Wow, okay. That is interesting. Spiva rejected, too. Schultz rejected. Okay, apparently I'm not as good of a GM as I think. Holy crap, a couple guys rejected. That is too bad. So we got Spiva and Sedin to sign. We have $22 million in cap space, though. Holy fucking shit, that is insane. I may as well lock Spiva up long... No, 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 not eight years. He's already 28. I'll sign him to a four-year deal. Uh, you know, 2.7. That's definitely a fair deal. And then Sedin. I don't know if I want to bring it... Ah, I think I should bring him back. I mean, it's not going to hurt the team that bad, I don't think. He wants one one year at 5.3. What if I get... I, I offered him 4.7. What if I offer you 5 million on the dot? That should get him to come back. I mean, it, it really doesn't matter. We're still going to have almost 15 million to get whoever we want in the, in the free agency. I'm not going to go after any big name, I don't think. Wow! Spiza still said no. I basically gave him exactly the money he was looking for. Can I get to him from here? I can. Okay, so select. Let's offer a contract one last time. God damn it. He wants that. I'll give him I'll give him what he wants. Okay, 2.9 for four years. It's no problem. Like the money's not an issue. It's just why not get him at a better deal if you can. He should say yes now. Yep, he does. So sim to free agency. I got everybody locked down that I want to. I released a couple AHL players just to kind of see where the team's at. Next episode, there will probably be a shitload of signings because we got to fill out the AHL and the NHL roster. Vlasic. Holy crap. Okay, we got a couple good guys. We also got Carlson. Right off the bat, let's take a look at these guys. Vlasic, obviously, great defensively. Great senses and physical. Okay, skating. He's a good player. Carlson as well up there. He's definitely more of an offensive-minded player, though. And then we got two. It's Daphne Fowler. Who is this? Jack Johnson. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, Cam Atkinson. He might be a guy to go after, although I wish his stats were a little bit better. Although, no, I mean, look at his stats. 87 defensive awareness and stick checking. Definitely can get it done. Senses is good. He might be a guy to go after. He might be a guy to go after for the future. I mean, a smaller guy, he kind of fits into Vancouver's type of playing style as well. So, he might be a really good guy to go after into the future. Van Riemsdyk, Little, Kane. I, I don't think I want to bring Kane over. He's just not as good defensively. Bozak, Klein, Vermette. Okay. That's interesting. Any goaltenders? I don't think there will be. There usually isn't any big goaltenders. 
They're at, uh, apparently, the game wants to prove me wrong today. Martin Jones, 88, and Halak, 85. I don't know if I want to pick him up. I'd like to give Dem Demko the green light and just let him play as many games as possible. I might bring back Kemper or Hammond, either one of them, just to bring back a goalie in net. Defenseman, I don't think we need a defenseman. If you think I should, I guess comment it, but I really don't think I'm going to. I'm going to scroll down the list, though, just in case. If you see anybody you think I should get, there you go. Let's go to forwards as well. Like I said, Cam Atkinson really is the only guy that's caught my eye as a marquee free agent. 87 overall as a second liner is great. Really great. If we put, like, we could put Horvat in between him and Fedin to hopefully help Horvat grow. That could be a really nice lineup. Aside from him, though, I really don't see anybody I'd like to add to my team long term. That's the key. Obviously, I can get a lot of guys for depth if need be. This guy, maybe. Look at Baptiste. Is he a, is he a UFA, though? He might not be a... He might not be. Atkinson, let's check. Is Baptiste? Okay, he's not. He's actually an RFA, I think. Yeah, Baptiste. 22 years old. Medium top nine. Yeah, I don't think I want to go after him anyway. His overall just kind of caught my interest. Here's everybody, though. Like I said, in terms of a long-term plan, Atkinson is the only guy that catches my eye. But in terms of short-term, just for a one-year contract to fill out the roster until all of our prospects come out, uh, there's, there's the lineup. Rick Nash, oh my, oh no, Riley Nash, I thought that was Rick Nash, I'm like, damn, 81 overall, sucks to be him, I guess, but, that is free agency, obviously we have enough money to get Atkinson, it's not going to be a big deal, let's take a look at the projected lineup as of now, though, so in net, obviously, we have Demko, and then probably Kemper, uh, he, you know, he's a familiar face, probably bring him back, defense, pretty, pretty straightforward, Tanev, Gabrunson, Hutton, Spiza, and then Tramp and Stretcher. We also now have a new guy, Yolavi. Oh, he might be coming up as well. 78 overall. He might be ready to play. If not, he's going to go in the minors. And then Robertson also coming up. Holy crap, we got defense for days. Hopefully, Yolavi can be that top two guy as well. I, I kind of am for... I've, I've been forgetting about him a little bit lately. Maybe, I mean, yeah, we don't need to go after Vlasic because hopefully Yolavi will be that top two guy. Forwards, as of now, I mean, we got Shaw, Sedin. I'm not, not talking about uh, who's going to play where, but we got Shaw, Sedin, Nylander, Horvat, Berchi, Sutter, and then Kennedy, Radulov, Patrick, and then basically Blank. So we're going to need around three to four. Yeah, we're going to need three to four NHL players and then basically just AHL players, which I'll fill out. So, yeah, let me know what you think. If we get Atkinson, obviously that gives us a bit better depth. We only have two guys over 84 overall for forwards. Two guys at 87. Only one first liner on the team. Oh, no, Daniel Sedin's the second liner now. We do not have a single first liner. We only have one second liner. So maybe Atkinson is a much needed guy to the team. We got third liners all over the place. Holy crap. Let me know what you think of the team and I will see you in the next episode.